In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I do and how I prepare for a tournament in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Today, I'm going to take you inside my head, talk a little bit about what I'm thinking and why I'm thinking it in a live online game of Madden 21. Now, I am only playing regs this week, and the reason why is because I qualified for the Madden Classic, and I have to lock in. I have to get better. I have a lot of things that I have to improve on if I'm going to be able to be competitive this coming weekend. So, um, for those of you that are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free, and the reason why you should subscribe, in, in essence, is because my channel is designed to help you become a better player, right? We try to coach, try to help teach, try to you know, basically grow with you, though, to be honest, because I don't know everything by any means. Like, I don't know everything about this game. I am in the process of learning as much as I possibly can. And so if you want to learn alongside of me and if you want to help coach me and help me develop and be a part of our community here, I would highly encourage you um, to go ahead and just simply click the subscribe button. It's completely free for you to do that, and it helps out the channel an absolute ton. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I'm still having some issues with the crossing route on PA boot over. Now, if you don't know, I run the bunch tight end offense, and that's the only offense that I've been running for the last month. And the reason why I like it so much is because it is a return to simplicity for me, right? The bunch is, um, it looks exactly the same every time. I don't have to do flipping or any of that stuff. Like, I can do that stuff, but I don't have to for the offense to be successful and effective. And I actually really like that. The reason why is because... Um, I, I am a player, the way that I play the game, I'm almost like a computer, right? I have to, I mean, I'm going to read it exactly the same every single time. I'm not great at freestyling. I'm not great at just coming out and throwing a slant here and a drag here and being able to read that very well. For me to be able to be very effective as far as reading the defense goes, I have to have a commitment to simplicity in terms of, of my game planning. So that's part of the reason as to why I have been running the bunch tight end because it's very simple. You're basically going to run about three to five plays consistently. And as long as you can execute and read them, um, you're going to be very effective. So anyways, that's what I'm doing on offense. On defense, I'm still in the 3-3-5 wide. I think the 3-3-5 wide is the best defense in the entire game. I don't think it's even close right now. 3-3-5 um, normal is also really, really good. And I have a full ebook on um, how to basically use you know both of those defenses uh, in my def – or um, how to use those defenses. That link's in the description. So anyway um, – See, I don't know if, and again, I don't know if I'm the only person having this issue, but lately I've been noticing that I've been having a ton of issues getting my feet down, um, whether it be in the back of the end zone, on the sideline, with the possession catch. I don't know if they've changed some of the ways that you would user catch uh, prior to this, but, and, and I did notice that as you, you know, it might have something to do with maybe I'm clicking the button too early or something, but um, I've been having a lot of issues with it. And so uh, I'm trying to figure it out before the classic because I don't, I mean, it, it literally could be a fourth down, and I could throw a laser, but because I don't get my feet down, because it's I'm hitting possession catch, but he's like not doing it, um, or he's not getting his feet down. I don't know how to, you know, I don't know how to fix that. So, anyways, I'm trying to get better at that. Offensively, I am trying so so hard to master my reads. I think that is the bottom line. You you have to if you're going to be elite on the offensive side of the ball. You have to master your progressions. Because I'm, I'm telling you, defense is going to leave something open against Bunch Tight End. It's hard to cover everything that Bunch Tight End has to offer. So there's going to be something open. The question is, can I read it under pressure? Can I get the ball out quick enough? Those are the primary questions that I'm trying to work through on offense. Obviously, right there, we had a fairly decent drive. Um, now, on defense, we're actually working on our cover four uh, match defense, cover four quarters style of defense. Um, and I'm actually really excited because it looks like we're about to go up against some I-form close and uh, some power O action. So we'll see. Now, the reason I like the cover four, part of why I really, really like this defense um, also is both safeties are in the run fit, meaning what that's going to mean is they're going to shoot down um, on power O's and stretches and things like that. So if we can stop... Um, if we can stop the pass with this, and you see here, it looks like he's going to go to some trip side in. So I'm actually really excited because uh, trip side in is one of the one of the formations that I'm actually concerned about heading into the Madden Classic. It's obviously a very effective formation, um, and so anyways, we're going to try to you know take care of it here with this defense. But let's see here. I'm going to man up, and I love this man coverage assignment here. Um, 
Now, as far as three wrecking, I've actually not been three wrecking at all out of quarters lately. I've just kind of been saying I'm going to rob the middle of the field um, and just do it like that. And parry, and that's, man, that's that's about as bad of stick work as you could possibly get. Um, that's That, that should have been an interception. Can't be mad at the defense for that one. That's entirely my fault. Um I've been having some issues with my controller, and I know it sounds like an excuse, but I actually have been, for whatever reason, and, and, and I'm going to probably have to go buy a new controller before Saturday, I've been having a massive issue with my controller where I'll either randomly hit stick. So I'd be like, like, this happened to me last night on my stream, where I'll like randomly just hit stick people, or I'll randomly slow down like you saw that happen to me, where it's like I can't get control of the player. And that might also be why I'm having trouble with catching on the sideline. But I was having that trouble on Xbox as well. So, um, anyways, I don't know if it's a controller. It's probably just a me thing. But um, I don't know if any of you guys have struggled with that lately. But I might have to go get a new controller before the Classic um, this weekend. So, I mean, defensively, I can't be mad at that as far as, like, the scheme. Like, schematically, I was doing the right thing. Um, I just didn't make the play. So that sometimes that happens. You, you've got to let those things go and move on uh, relatively quickly here. So uh, right here, I'm just going to scramble with Rodgers. He's not clicking the spy, so we're going to just take take our yards. Um, I will say that out of out of this offense, um, one of the things that is, has actually been really important for me is smart routing this post route. I think it's actually super important. Also, we'll motion them out occasionally. Um, and the reason why is because he'll sit right in that pocket, just right there. And I think that is so important to be able to consistently hit that read because it really forces their – their user can't just stay on the right hash mark. Like a lot of people when they defend bunch tight end, they like to have their user just sit on the right hash, essentially. And they're going to use her either the crosser or the delay fade. Now you have to use her multiple things. Like right here, snap, throw right in that little pocket there. Now he was in the vicinity, and I probably shouldn't have thrown that. But that, I, you know, I was talking about it. That's why I threw it. So anyway, smart routing this, mo smart routing this post and then motioning him out. Just a step. Um, you don't even have to motion him out. I like to do it because it looks the same as all my other sets or several other things that I like to do offensively. But you still get the same effect over the top. You still get the same pulling of the zones, um, which is really, really good. It, it pulls the deep blue zones out of the way, allows you to, to pepper um, crossing routes for days. And I think it just, again, it just helps with the, the totality of the offense. Um, you know, one of the things, and I, I got to pull this up on my computer here so I can give you an accurate um, uh, quote here on this. But it's it's about it's about offense, or it's not even about offense. It's about um, both, you know, schemes. Basically, it's about it's about schemes on both sides of the ball. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it in just a second. But here we're gonna try to get this touchdown. Um, the other thing is that route right there, like, and I don't hit it like I should all the time. But that uh, that route is super important, the little check release. Um, but this is a quote, and I got this from Zan. He says that game plans are full schemes with personnel, audibles, and specific situational setups from a formation or group of formations. I love that definition. And then he goes on to say that when you, and I'll, I'll talk about the rest of it after this uh, play here. And that route right there is one of the most important routes in this offense, um, that streak. But anyway, it says, when you run a game plan, you are getting a group of setups that provide a similar pre-snap look to your opponent, but still possess ways to attack anything thrown your way on both the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball without giving your opponent an easy read or an easy tell. I think that is a huge statement. Um, the ability to disguise your intent is the biggest key when running a scheme. So I'm a big fan of Zan. I, I'm a huge, huge fan of Zan. Um, I love learning from him. And... I think that's a great way to sum it up. I mean, that, I think that's a great way to sum it up. And what he talks about is he talks about, um, and, and, and I, I tried to find the words to, to express this, and I feel like that sentence really does. But it's, it's all about how you want to make everything look the same. You want to make everything look the same, but you want it to be able to do different things behind it. So that's the same theory with our offense, with our defense, with everything that we do. So, um, anyways, that's a little bit about that as we're going to dive into the defense of the ball. But, um 
that motion uh, motion out of that far outside receiver just by a couple snaps is gonna they're gonna have to at least think you could run mesh or tight end corner or curl flat corner or any of those sets. So, anyways. All right, so it looks like he's going to go into strong close. I'm actually really excited to play this because I've been having some issues with it um, from this defense. And that's the reason why mana line drives me insane. That right there is the reason why mana line drives me insane. And I'm trying to test out the mana line. I know mana line works well against, like, trips, tight end, and things like that. I don't know how it works against, like, stuff like this. Um... So we're going to find out. So here's the quarters. We've got that guy taken care of. The left side. I don't think he can beat into anything over there. Post route. Post route. There it is. Fumble. Get the ball. Get the ball. Good job. Good job, defense. So strong close, one of the other things that it does really, really well is it has a couple good. Uh, now this defense, this formation right here gives me all kinds of problems so I don't know we'll see how this works um, I would never ever 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 see that corner right, right there that's the route and he got me again man that's that's the route that drives me insane from tight it it beats I don't know why that route works so well because I don't even think it's that good of a route but for whatever reason it gives me so much trouble uh, let's try this against you. I think this is U trips right here. So curl, that's mine. We'll take that back for six. Go for six, Savage. Savage is a freaking savage, man. He is a savage, man. I love, I love using him. I, if he was like, if he was like a few inches taller, like I think it would make a big, 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 big difference. Anyway, we're gonna go to inside switch now. Um, I've been kind of changing how I run this play. And I don't know if it's for the better or the worse. We'll see. But I've been using this streak to Devontae. Um, it's a really good match coverage beater. Like, if they're running a lot of match coverage on you um, and they're not making the proper adjustments, you can they can leave themselves very vulnerable to that. Uh, this tight end corner setup is one of my favorites right now. Um, it's just a simple uh, curl flat. You've got the, the – but if you motion Austin out, it's a, it's a similar streak – to mesh as you can see right there the tight end streak pulls everything out of the way and allows you to easily just kind of pop those uh, pop those those reads in there for you now I've been trying to learn a little bit about goal line um, I feel like my biggest weakness on offense is my red zone um, and I honestly think that's probably true for a lot of players uh, I think that red zone offense is really hard uh, in this game and so you know, it is what it is. I've actually been testing out this uh, this this blunt dive here. And uh, we'll see how this works. But basically, I'm going to play maker right. So essentially, it's like an inside zone split. But Irving should take the user in. Of course, he doesn't. Ho I was hoping he would, but he didn't. Um, all right, we're going to go to strong or I form wing stretch in this situation. And, wow, Jones just made a great play. Now, the other thing that you have to remember is uh, Devontae Adams has an ability called Red Zone Threat. And, essentially, what that means is, and, of course, I don't even have him in the game, but he will get, like, great, and that's just terrible, terrible, terrible offense by me. I didn't have Devontae Adams in the game, number one. Number two, I didn't highball it. So, but that route on PA slide, it gets in the back of the end zone really well. So, that was why I was trying to do that. Um, okay. Okay, no, no, no. Don't, don't snap it. Don't snap it. No. Uh, dang it, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. That's not fair. That's not fair, man. Ugh. Gosh, dang it. Good route. That route right there is the one route that I'm scared to death to defend. And, and I and, and I because because to me if you run gun tight and you run that route to the wide side of the field praise God he missed a kick um, if you if you run that to the wide side of the field I and you have an, a if that's Devontae Adams I feel like that's a really hard route to stop like it's it's not it's not curl flat corner so it's not it's not the same type of thing it's also 
I don't know why Cover Four Quarters struggles so much against that. I think it's because it's. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know why that struggles so much. I gotta practice that. I haven't tested a ton of stuff. I don't see a lot of gun tight either. Like I, I see it like once every maybe fifty games. I'll see someone run gun tight. So I also don't like really spend a lot of time thinking about it. But this is what I'm talking about. Like with the Madden Classic, you're gonna have people do stuff like this. Like people come out. They're just gonna come out and single back ace flip offset or something like. You know, they're, they're going to come out in random stuff. So, you know, you have to be kind of ready for that. So, anyways, that's on me a little bit. But, anyway, this is probably my favorite play in the game right here. Curl flat corner. This out route, when you motion him out, it's really hard to stop him. And, of course, I did probably the worst pocket presence in the history of mankind right there. Because he's just blitzing three every play. Or blitzing four every play. We'll do that double team there. Yeah, let's see if we can get out here. That right there is quickly becoming one of my favorite adjustments. So um, cover four, and he didn't run cover four right there, but if he were to run cover four, that outside quarter zone will, will sit on the crosser most of the time. If you playmaker up the drag, right, um, that that playmaker up will get in a very tender area of the defense almost almost every time. We'll see if he blitzes this outside guy. He probably should here. We'll see. Nope, he's a man. Um, oh, that was a bad decision. Bad decision. Bad decision. We just gotta hope somebody gets open. And Devonte Adams says, "I'm wide open." Good job, buddy. I think Devonte Adams. Uh, obviously, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, the, just the Packers are just. I just think I don't see how you can say there's any team. That is better than the Packers are for regs. Now I'm trying to figure out kind of how to use this play. I don't think I, I don't think I, I don't use it as good as I could. Um, but this post route to Tavon Austin, especially in regs, is really really good. Um, let me see if Devontae can just make a play here with that red zone threat. Not able to get there. But that that post route to to um, Tavon Austin is similar to the post route from the play. Um, oh gosh, what's the play called? And I actually like this setup a lot. I think this setup is super underrated. Um, essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to motion over Adams. It's similar to inside switch, but they the problem is most people aren't used to the the post coming from the interior guy, so they're used to it coming from the outside guy. So if you bring it from the interior guy now. Now, you see, he kind of forgets about him, and I can't tell you how many times I've thrown touchdowns like that. Um, and that's not exactly the same way that people run the play curl flat from trips tight end. Um, but it's, if you think about it, they've got the running back on an angle route. And I wish that Aaron Jones had the backfield uh, master ability. I think he just has the backfield mismatch ability. So you can't put Aaron Jones on, like, a table route or something. It would be, like, awesome if you could, though. It would be, it would be awesome if you could. So, anyways... Um. Anyway, so so my point in saying all that is to say that, um, you know, you're gonna face stuff that you've never faced before in the classic. It's almost guaranteed that's gonna happen. I mean, um, I think I think I was watching a video on YouTube where Zan played one of the most toxic schemes I've ever seen. It's just pistol, and it's just we're just running with Lamar Jackson every play. Right, uh, uh, and I, I didn't get the chance to watch the whole video yet. I don't have enough time, but um, I just saw that was initially what had happened. Now I feel like my defense for Gun Bunch is really, really good right now. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I'm not um, blowing smoke. But I think I think this Bunch D is really, really good. Let's see. Yeah, we're taking everything away, man. Everything is bagged. Yeah, I I, I think my Bunch D is good, uh, at least right now. I'm feeling really good about Gun Bunch. Um, I'm feeling decent about Trips Tight End. I'm feeling terrible about um, about. Um, I just got to watch for a streak. Go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Sack him! Fumble! Something. Um, I'm feeling really good about Gun Bunch. I'm feeling really good about Trips. I'm feeling terrible about Gun Tight. I haven't practiced it, and and that's why. You know, gun tight could be uh, could be problematic for me, but like right here, this 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 adjustment right there, um, I don't know why 
But when you man up um, players out of cover four quarters, I think it makes the match play like insanely good. So now we're not going to have the controller glitch out on us. We're going to get the pick. Now, it's actually really important here that we get down and score a field goal, and that's terrible stick work by me. He's going to quit out. GG's to him, but uh, good job by me there getting the pick. Anyways, guys, and this is Jair Alexander. Deep out zone KO is a huge ability. Acrobat's a huge ability. But anyways, thanks for watching today. If you want to get the full eBooks, they are in the description of this video. Um, if you want to get a for for three three five and for bunch tight end, if you want to get the sample, just text me for that. I release new schemes every week in my text message membership. Only people that are part of my text message membership get those videos. Those are not available to anybody else. Even if you pay for my eBooks and you don't um, you don't have the text membership, you're not going to be able to get those videos. So I would encourage you if you haven't already signed up for that, it's completely free. Um, just text me. Just text me. Completely free uh, for you. And it's really, really good stuff too. Really, really in-depth, high-level Madden stuff every week that you're going to be able to get with that. Um, we're finishing up our bunch tight end texts. And then next week we're going to we're gonna do some 335 stuff. So I'm actually jacked about that. I can't wait. Um, but anyways... Uh, last thing I want to say is uh, we're streaming tonight at 10 o'clock. Come hang out. We're probably going to be having our Super Bowl uh, for our, our PS4 CFM, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then also the other thing I was going to say is if you want to get the full defensive guide or the full offensive guide, that's in the description as well as a link to personal coaching sessions. So if you want to get personal coaching from me and kind of get in the lab a little bit, you can get those as well. Those are on sale. We've discounted those, I think, about 10 to maybe 15 bucks. Um, so they're a lot cheaper than they used to be. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos, and we will see you tonight on stream.